Passage to the Metalworks and Engineering. Kill 25 and Invaders of Frozen. Deal uh, with Bellator de Alchemia. Is that, that's me, right? That just means I just hit them, or does that some sort of weapon we do? Booby trap. Three equipped booby traps. Um, I only have, these are booby traps, I assume, so I only have two. Dual mix combo. I don't know what a dual mix combo is. I have dual mix combo five times. Is that, that's probably like one of my mutagens or something. And I look at this, so red, outs, green, losing. Okay. I think they should probably pick a different color, like blue. Blue is an emergency thing. So red would be the hostile. And then if it was blue, it would say like, hey, this is super bad. We probably start there. We could probably jump down there. All right, let's give this a shot. We have Oriental Warriors, a fast running footman equipped with two sickles as weapons. A fast running footman with two attacks from distance with a slingshot. Go ahead and change this to be the hologram of the bad guy, like the primary bad guy. Okay. I'm assuming I should be able to jump down those. I, I don't think I was able to jump down on the previous mission, but maybe I just didn't try hard enough. So we would fight them, then run back and deal with the next wave. And that, that kind of makes sense. I, I would like more turrets. That was that was kind of a cool thing, but now I don't have turrets anymore. That's not a not a placement they've done. This is red. Is that bad? Like the hammer icon in the middle is red, but I don't know. All right, let me think here. Uh, let's just start by putting stuff here. Okay, so that's covered that spot. Can I put more than one in the same spot? No. Okay, it looks like I see the green icon right there. I don't know why this section here is red, though. I mean, I think it should also reflect the green from from the the object, the basket above it. All right, so if I can reach this range, probably is fine to do something like this. So then we'll just do a symmetrically pose there. Can I put spikes right underneath? It looks like it. So why don't we just go for something a little more simple looking this time? And then we'll go next wave. I mean, I, I know I'd be better off with barricades. So I don't want to just do that for every map because that's bad for recording. All right, let's see if I can actually jump down these. Yes. Oh, okay. Because I interrupted his reload with the, the Q attack, um, he had to start over his reload. Let's put in some more. Yeah, unfortunately, because of the stairway, they'll just climb right through it. That's fine. We'll manage.
That's some preliminary stuff. Now let's sort of zigzag them through a little bit more. And that's all the money I have. All right. Let's give this a shot. I don't think my... No, they hit me! Final kill. Oh, I got the blast hammer. Did I not already have that? I guess it's a different hammer. Princess Gilbert has been rescued. We can now craft items at the Armamentarium. Our Princess Gilbert has begun working at the Armamentarium, Commander. He requests a meeting with you to discuss his progress. Greetings, Commander. I am grateful for your rescue. I will be responsible for crafting experimental warfare that will aid you on the field of battle. Here you can choose which schematic to use as a base for crafting. Each schematic can produce various versions of the same item with different abilities. From here, you can select the materials to use for crafting. Choosing higher quality materials increases the chance of producing a higher tier item. No! Chances suck! You can scavenge these resources on your missions. When you are ready, you can craft the item from here. If you don't like the item you make, you can recycle it for half of the materials back. If you keep the item, it will go to your inventory. There is an inventory limit of items you can keep. You can see how many items you have in your inventory from here. You can dismantle unwanted items by dropping them here. You can recover half of the resources spent on the item. I highly suggest crafting a new blast hammer, Commander. Any item we create will surely be better than the equipment you currently have. Well, why didn't you guys create any of this stuff, you know, when the land was at peace or something? Uh... All right, so using, so is this like the maximum number of alloys I could carry? I should spend it if 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 I started getting near that. We can have a, a twenty percent chance to get a tier four uh, tier four item, maybe I don't know. Um, Alright, let's just do a basic one, because I haven't necessarily gotten uh, solvent and precious minerals yet, I don't think. So until we get a resource income of those, I don't want to spend that right now. We'll go ahead and just do a blast hammer. It's 
50% damage and 100% chance extra 100%. So, I guess sure. This is my old one with a 5% critical chance and 100% increase of that and makes it 10%. So this is my new one. All right, so we'll go ahead and get rid of the old one. Um, all right, don't think there's any reason to keep it. Wait, can I dual wield? No, probably not. No, all right. Anything else you can craft me, dude, or is it just the hammer? Probably just the hammer. We got another skill point, so I spend it here, yeah. Critical chance, range weapon, increase stamina cost using melee weapons by 5% each kill. Uh, increases melee damage by 3%. We can plant booby traps at a distance. Turrets remain on the ground indefinitely. When a new turret is deployed, the previous one will be removed. I'm assuming the thing I have is not a turret and it's a booby trap. The, 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 the aerial spiky thing that I set on the ground and shoots up. Not 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 the spikes that work per second, but the one that's in my inventory that costs that is hotkey number two. Increased duration of clockworks by five percent. I'm assuming the thing I have is a clockwork. We should do a cooldown of bombs by five percent, or throw two additional bombs with reduced effects. I would probably need to get this if I want to do the vials thing. I assume. Not much percent sure that's even a vial. Taking more than 150 physical damage in a single attack reduces physical damage taken by 75% once per minute. Okay. I think we'll start with... Well, hold on. Can I see how many hit points I have anywhere? Apparently, I like to phase in and out of existence. All right, I'm just going to go with this and assume 150 is a good deal of hit points. Can't craft anything else. Lecture room. Small lecture hall for new apprentices. Traps, fire with turrets, and 50 invaders with acid. Okay. So could I lead them into this room? I guess so, yeah. Why don't we start with that? Is recalculating? Is that what's going on? Or did it not like that and it's going to smash through? Okay, I think it's recalculating. That's why. I'm assuming they take damage even here and here. Like, so if I could just probably get away with putting this. It doesn't like spikes there. It's because of the torch. Yeah, I can't build right there for some reason. I don't know why. If I had known that, I would have instead put the wall here. But that's fine. And I wish I could sell wall or something. Maybe I can. I just don't know how. Uh, control click, shift click. Well, what's this? Is this this is this demolish? Well, let's see how much I get back. Each wall is twenty five. Shift flick. I get it all back. Excellent. All right, this this works for me. This this does change things up.
All right. So I can always sell between routes, I assume. Good. Let's go and get started then. I should probably space that out more because I assume that it doesn't stack slowing. I don't feel like I'm getting any hit points back. Am I allowed to sell stuff that was there in the previous round? Looks like it, yeah. We'll probably sell this one, because I, I assume that it doesn't stack slowness. Um, let's sell this. Let's see, so that covers that much territory. Um, Make it a little longer, so that way these things have time to recharge. I'd like them to go here, but is there any other benefit? Probably not. Sell this and this and restructure that. All right, that looks good. You can see the evolution of my uh, learning the game as we work out, so I should really jump over these things more often. Okay, throwing... Flasks do not count over, or cannot work over crates.
Can I throw flasks over this? No. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm getting any hit points back. It might just be a melee attack only thing in order to get health back. Hey, don't throw spears at me. Yeah, I finally placed two booby traps. Like, I'm sure I could place them like all at the entrance and they wouldn't get triggered, but that also doesn't necessarily help me right at the moment. I saw his spear get stuck in the wall, so maybe if I double layer the wall, it might stand a better chance of catching all the spears. 
Oh, did, did it did it trigger or did I lose it? soldiers in this enemy empire. 614 people have died just this round alone. We got poison, electric tower, and explosive flash. Now I can go back and do some of those other things. I still need frozen, however. Master Towersmith Nadir has been rescued. We can now upgrade towers at the workshop. Master Nadir has taken up residence in the workshop and has begun working, Commander. We would like to speak with you. It's great to see you awake from your hibernation, Commander. We need more than ever now. I'll operate the towers in the workshop. When you unlock more tower plans, we can build different kinds of them. You can take three tower types on any mission. More towers will be available here when we unlock them. You can choose a variant versions of each tower here. You don't have to put towers in your loadout. We'll bring enough resources for each tower to the mission. Just choose which variant you want to use and find a good place for them in the mission. Not all parts of the castle have a suitable base for a tower. We have the Ballista Tower, that's what we used in the very first map. And then we have an Electric Tower. Electric travels on conductive ground. Okay. okay so we can make a Poison Spike Trap, which is five more. Conducts electricity. Interesting. Alright. Armamentarium. I should be able to click these people also and make that make that happen. Explosive flask. Go and craft one of these babies. Ten percent crit chance and bleed ten percent. Uh I don't know. Now if I hit X, that's the same thing as um getting five of my resources back. So I might as well accept it now, and I can always recycle it afterwards. Take a look at my armory. Yeah. All right. I do like the mechanical traps better, but we did have that one mission that required me to have four vials, and maybe this is a vial. Like, that's another way to say flask, right? So let's craft two more of those. That, that blast hammer. What? Oh, I'm I'm overweight. That's why. Okay, so I'm gonna need at least 1.5 more weight. Let's mutate that then. Okay, so let's take a look. This has increased damage. That's probably my favorite one now already. Uh, bleed radius. Swap those two. Chance increase damage by 10%. So we'll put that as number two. And that's the order of preference for those. Lock works, vials. Ah, there we go. So yes, that, that those were vials. This is a booby trap. Got it. Switch over to this. Just to keep things changing. <laughs> 